Hi there, this is Anthony from AA Jazz and welcome to my new series on how to learn jazz standards. This is the second video of talking about melodies and the melody that we are talking about is uh, Fly Me to the Moon written by Bart Howard in 1959. Now, if you haven't seen the previous videos, including the introduction, I encourage you to go back and watch those because some of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about is building on some of the things that were mentioned in those earlier videos. So here we go. Some of the things that I was talking about was number one, you got to work on one song at a time. And the one song we are working on right now is Fly Me to the Moon. Another one of the numbers that I mentioned was the number four. We like to work on things in four bar sections. And the section that I am working on right now is the uh, second four bar section. So that's bars five, six, seven, and eight. The chords are F major seven, B minor seven flat five, E seven flat nine, and A minor seven. Now, in this part of the song, we get our very first accidental. I mentioned in the earlier video that this is in the key of C, which means uh, most of the things that we are going to do are going to fall right under your fingers if you know your C scales. However, once in a while, an accidental will show up, as it does in bar 7 of this song. There is a G sharp. Now, on the guitar, whenever you I come across a sharp, there are two ways to approach this. You can either take your first finger and stretch that way, or you can take your pinky finger and stretch that way. I almost always prefer to take my first finger and go that way. I just feel it's uh, I have a lot more control over my first finger than I do over my pinky. So the melody is... I step out of the scale just for that note and I come back in to play the rest of the melody. Okay? Same thing when I go up to the fifth fret. finger going out to play the G sharp and then I come right back to play it. So now what is this going to sound like against uh, the chords? I strongly recommend that you use a looper or an iPad, uh, something like iReal Pro and something so you can hear your melody being played against the chords. I think that's really really important. So I'm going to highlight bars 5, 6, 7 and 8 and I'm going to play that part of the melody over those chords. So here we go. two, three, four, and we've got bars five, six, seven, and eight. So of course the next thing to do is to put those together. So here we go. I'm going to play the melodies to bars one through eight. First of all, using my C scale up here, and then I'll switch to the other one. Here. 
great. So that now we've got two different ways of playing the melodies uh, from bars one through eight. Now in the previous video, we also talked about chords. So why don't we do a little bit of both? I'm gonna do chords and then melody, chords and then melody. And I'm gonna bounce back and forth between the two. Now remember, we're just focusing on the first eight bars. We're not gonna go any further than that right now. So I'll start off with those big band chords that I mentioned. Now here's the melody. idea so by bouncing back and forth between the melody and the chords what you wind up getting is a real strong sense of the tune and and we're working on just a small section of it but you're gonna get a real strong sense of the tune so that when you go on to the next section you'll have a real strong grip of of the tune as it moves along and you're also coming you're also coming to grips with different spots on the guitar where you can play, where the chords move. There's all sorts of advantages to doing it this way. Uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me, anthony at doublejazz.com, or you can type something into the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you enjoy this and uh, stay tuned for my next video coming up soon.